Philly 254 living life. Back at it. And today we are looking at another episode of How Well Does It Play on the Steam Deck. And the game in question is, of course, as you can see, WWE 2K23. How well does this game play on the Steam Deck? And I'm going to tell you off top right now, it plays flawless. No issues whatsoever. No Steam Deck specific issues, should I say, whatsoever. Now, the game as a whole, it's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun game. But let me start off with Steam Deck. Anything with Steam Deck related. Again, nothing. Um, I played it flat out on default settings. Then that's typically how I do any of my how well does it play games, series, when I'm testing them out or whatnot. I just play them on default settings at first and see how well it plays. And if it plays any kind of way, any kind of weird way, jittery or glitches or whatnot, or, you know, crashes, then I just go ahead and start adjusting settings. This one, I did not have to make one adjustment. Downloaded the game, played the game, game was great. So just FYI for anyone who's wondering, you don't gotta have to change anything, no pro no changing Proton levels, or, well, I say levels, but no changing different versions of Proton or changing settings or whatnot. Game runs amazingly, immaculately. Now, as far as the game itself, now, typically, typically, like I said, you're not going to get no in-depth review when I do these series. If you want that, go to IGN, whatever. But I will give you a quick little overview and just kind of my general experience of it. And from my standpoint, the game's pretty fun. Now, as I've always mentioned, I am a fighting game. I like fighting games. I'm a fighting game fanatic. I love fighting games, whatever. Now, wrestling games i don't really consider those fighting games i really don't play wrestling games too often so this is coming from someone who typically does not buy these types of games but of course i bought it so y'all don't have to kind of just to verify everything and coming from an amateur at these types of games i enjoyed it man i enjoyed you know the different types of uh it's pretty thorough with the button button layout when i say the button layout the, the different combinations and ways you do your different grapples and your punches and kicks and whatnot and of course, like when I say combinations, because you can do, there's different combinations of uh, light punch, light punch, grab, or light punch, light punch, heavy punch, whatever. And it will end with a different type of um, actual grapple move, you know, body slam or neck break or RKO or whatever. You know, and then of course, same thing with, you know, you, you do your grab, your grapple move, which is just, just kind of grab their shoulders or whatever. And then you choose it's going to be a light grapple or heavy grapple depending on what button you press and then you press that button with a, with a directional or i guess a direction should i say and you know it gives you a different result a different grapple for each direction or whatnot it's fun simple i love it has a little counter system again fun nothing weird whatsoever the, the game itself is pretty damn fun it has a whole lot of different modes on it gm mode where you pretty much play the gm and you're looking at the finances of raw or smackdown or whatever your gm of and trying to make sure you book matches and champions and make good ratings or whatever then of course it has like the the my rise mode where you pretty much playing through the little story if, if, i think that's the my rise mode where you're playing through, through, through a little story uh it's basically like story mode basically it has a universe mode where similar to the gm mode but you're you're not worried about the finances you kind of create your own little story and everything with it um uh, of course it has your little exhibitions where you just just play you play and get what you get play how you want to play and then the only real issue i had with this game and this is not steam deck related but it's straight up like I, from what i looked it up when i looked it up it was an issue that everyone was having and i thought it was just something at the very beginning like maybe you know something that you know when the game's first new you would get but come to find out when if you try to play any of the online modes which the i think it's called the my faction and then, of course, the straight-up online mode, we just play online and play other people or whatnot. Both of those require, obviously, online uh, connection. Now, one thing I'll say is this game is one of those kind of games that you do have to create a, a little 2K account, which I don't like those, but it is what it is. You got to create a little 2K account before you can really go online, I believe. So I created mine, and the minute you try to go online, whether it's the My Faction or the online mode, the straight-up online mode, it would just flat out say cannot connect to 2k servers again like i was saying earlier i was trying to explain earlier i thought this was just something because the game's brand new sometimes it happens it is what it is this popular game comes out and you can't get online like you want to so i thought it's because the game was brand new i looked it up just to verify that it wasn't just me 
you know, it wasn't just my internet or something being weird. It wasn't a Steam Deck being a Steam Deck or something crazy. No, I looked it up and a lot, pretty much a lot of people across the board was having these issues. And apparently it's something that plagued the previous year's version of this game where people were having issues getting online and getting those 2K server error messages and whatnot. Um, and it's unfortunate because you can't really enjoy the full everything that the game has. Now, there's been a number of times where maybe it may let me in for a little bit to kind of cruise the little menu a little bit with whether it's the faction or the straight up online mode. And then it kicks me out with a 2K error message. And then there was one very specific time it worked. Uh, I was able to kind of kind of start the my faction mode, kind of get an idea what it's talking about. It looked like some kind of card related thing. I was like, oh, it's like a card game thing. And then it turns into matches. Weird. Okay, cool. Whatever. And I exit it. And then the actual um, straight up online, I got on to try to find the game, could never find the game. Most likely because most people are just who are so used to it not working, didn't even try themselves, right? And then come to find out, I also find out that this game's not crossplay, which is well, like what? I thought that's isn't like a prerequisite these, these days. Crossplay? It's not. It's not crossplay, but because of the whole 2K uh, account creation situation, it is cross uh, cross progression, I believe. So I gotta double check it, but I do believe I re remember reading that it is cross uh, cross progression. Can get the word out. Cross progression. So that's cool, I guess, but definitely not crossplay, which sucks. Um, if you played the game last year, I believe you can actually uh, import your your character, your created character from last year into this year. Again, that brings it to another thing. It does. It is pretty deep with the stuff you can do. Create characters. You can create the character, the move set, how they look. How their interest looks, how they look in victory, how they look, and not just in any victory. I mean, every kind of conceivable victory they would have, like how they would look without a without a championship belt, how they would look with the champion belt, championship belt. Change the music, the theme, all this stuff. It's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Uh, fortunately, I can't really get online with anything that I've done because the 2K servers never connect, which sucks. So, again, that's not Steam Deck related. That seems to be kind of across the board. Uh, hopefully, that gets resolved and gets fixed. Otherwise, out the gate, this game's pretty damn fun. Got a lot of different modes. Um, like I, now I said, I'm not a, I don't really kind of play these kind of games, but that doesn't mean I'm not a wrestler fan. So, the game does allow you to create stories and whatnot. If you want to, you know, the whole Sami Zayn bloodline situation, if you want to make so that Sami Zayn won the channel, I mean, won the channel, won the championship, shoot, it's all you, baby. You can do that. If you want to sit here and have Vince McMahon versus Triple H, losers got to leave WWE for good this time, shoot, that's all you, baby. You know what I'm saying? But it's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun game. I would definitely recommend, recommend it 100%. Hopefully, they get this whole WWE 2K server situation resolved. And, of course, you know, I will mention this is going to be a little bit of a rant. The only thing I don't like about these type of games, same thing with a lot of the sports games, is the yearly, annual releases, right? Except this one, I think there was one year it skipped because the previous year it sucked so bad. But typically it's an annual release game, which means the next year this game is going to be irrelevant. Yeah, you get to pull in your created characters, but you still got to purchase a whole new game if you want to um, put this in quotation, you can't see it. Play online. But, um, I mean... The new and each year you get updated rosters and um you know the graphics look a little bit better and whatever but i mean the updated rosters things i mean you could just do that with dlc baby i mean look, what you talking about like you don't have to i don't why do i have to buy a whole new game just to get this version that, that does have bray Wyatt in it versus last year or whatever you know what i'm saying so that's just weird it's my whole my whole little thing on that like you know but that's their that's their model that's how they get their money so it is what it is i ain't gonna trip i didn't make it you know so it is what it is regardless the game itself is fun as hell I'm not gonna trip so i would say this game is a definite buy don't pass well buy if you like these type of games definitely buy you can play it on you can play it on the road because the online don't work any damn way and get it how you get it how you live right if you like more steam deck news walkthroughs gameplay eventual lives like and subscribe cruise through the playlist and i'm out